Hello, this is R-A-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today's video is really important because you only have three days left to get unlimited photo backup with Google Photos. Now this goes away as of June 1st, 2021. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. So this is how you're going to get unlimited photo backup. Google Photos has been the gold standard literally on how every photo organization software editing has been done on mobile for a very long time. It's where Apple and Samsung get most of their gallery and photos from in terms of how to organize them, how to get everything together. So unlimited photo backup is going away, but I want to show you how to do this so you can actually make sure to back up all of your photos now because anything backed up before June 1st will not count towards your overall storage. Now to let you know, after June 1st, everything in there will count, but to be fair, it's $2 a month for 100 gigs. So it's not the most expensive thing I've ever seen, but it definitely is gonna be something that is a change since we had unlimited before, and trust me, I backed up a lot. So let's get started on how to back up with mobile first. So when it comes to backing up the photos on your phone, you're going to open up Google Photos, then hit the icon at the top right, which is your icon. Then from there, you're going to go to photo settings. And then from there, you're going to go to backup and sync at the top. From here, you're going to select upload size. And from there, you have to hit high quality. So very simple process. And again, this will give you unlimited photo backup until June 1st. So everything uploaded before then is unlimited. Now you want to make sure to go back and then select which folders are then being backed up. So go to backup device folders and you can select which ones you want. Maybe you don't want certain folders to be backed up. Maybe you want all of them to be backed up. You can turn on and off which ones you would like, and then you're all set. So this is really important because this way you can back up, you know, your downloads, your screenshots, if you need them, whatever you need to unlimited. Again, this is unlimited before June 1st. And even after that, you can have it again, automatically upload all of your photos and it's still a really good price option. Now I will say high quality is going to be very good. It's about a 12 megapixel uh, quality, which most cameras aren't more than that. It does compress it and all videos that are 4K and up are reduced to 1080p quality once uploaded. And if you've ever seen a YouTube video, this is essentially the same process. Videos are compressed when they're uploaded. Same kind of process that will happen to your photos and videos basically. But if you think this quality is okay, then you should be fine. All right, now we're going to start with the computer. So for the computer, you're going to go to the top and click upload. Once you're there, you can select computer and that will allow you to back up everything on your computer in a specific folder. However, if you want to back up and auto sync, you can just go to backup and sync. What this will allow for is any specific folders will automatically upload to Google Photos anytime your computer's on. So this comes obviously really handy. It's what I do for all my photos folder. And if you have any specific folders, like if I had a uh, real estate folder or a headshots folder or something like that, you can do that. Don't forget to set it to high quality here because if you set it to original quality, it will make more space taken away and that will not be unlimited. So make sure to set it to high quality when you're uploading. And that's it. Once you have that done, you will now back up all of your photos, everything you have to the Google Cloud. It's really great as organization. If you do want to see a full video on how Google Photos can really help you find any photo you've ever missed, in its cloud storage, let me know in the comment section down below because it really is the best photo backup you can get. Now, if you do want alternatives to that, we do have those and more are coming throughout this next few weeks. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to check out those videos. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me.
Thanks again.